College football talking season has returned. The calendar has switched to June, which means it's time to start getting excited and starting to brush up on your knowledge of the world of college football. It's a new era in college football. It is now the era of the Super Power Conference. If your predictions or if your knowledge is saying SMU and California are going to meet for the ACC championship, that's the new world we live in. Arizona, welcome to the Big 12. A Big 12 champion is a possibility. And then the Big 2, in, in most people's minds, at least in the area I live, Oklahoma and Texas are now part of the SEC. Superpowers all over. Big America 64, which, I, which is technically the uh, Big 10 conference. You now have like schools like UCLA and Oregon going to have to play Rutgers in Maryland for a Big 10 matchup. It's the world we live in. We're going to start today's video off with just talking about who I think is coming back or are going to be the headliners coming back, okay? So we're going to start with the quarterback position and our ease our way into this stuff. So if you enjoy my videos, please hit the follow back. And then if you'd like to leave a comment, please comment below. These are just subjective opinions, lots of nerdy research uh, for more years than most people are watching these videos, uh, to say the least. So let's get right into it. Here are my top recorded turning quarterbacks. And let's start with the people outside of who I think might be the biggest impact. So Miller Moss, USC coming back. Hudson Card is now at Purdue. KJ Jefferson now at UCF. Alan Bowman in his seventh season. I'm rooting for him at Oklahoma State, but here's a problem with college football. Seven years. I'm rooting for you, Alan. Noah Fafita, Arizona. Seth Hannigan at Memphis. Preston Stone at SMU in the ACC. Haynes King at Georgia Tech. D DJ Ugalalia at Florida State now. And then Connor Wegman at Texas A&M. Those are people who are also returning that I think are be big impact. But my biggest projected impact, which means at least three of these guys is going to either get injured or have a bust, and I hope I don't wish negative juju on you, is as follows. Uh, let's start with Quinn Ewers, Texas. He might be the Heisman front runner before the season starts. Doesn't mean he's going to win it. Carson Beck, Georgia. Jackson Dart, Ole Miss. Dylan Gabriel, he's now in Oregon. Jalen Daniels, stay healthy, Kansas. Riley Leonard is now in Notre Dame. Cameron Rising, Utah. Cameron Ward went from Washington State, and now he's at Miami. Grayson McCall ran out of eligibility at Coastal Carolina and is now at NC State. And then Shador Sanders in Colorado. Obviously, people are going to follow that storyline hard. There are my top returning quarterbacks going into college football this season. Each, each day, new video, new position, then we'll go team by teams after that, and then we'll focus on power rankings once the season starts and predictions. So please hit the follow, hit the comment button if you see a comment need to be made. And thanks for watching.